the big time. Who is Randy? Don't bring anyone mother into this. Your mom in the fucking stand. I was at this place called the California Hotel California. It was a building that was 11 stories high, and we were all on each story. And if you walk up, you have to walk up the stairs, and fuck, shit went down in those stairs. Really? Shit went down. And, you know, like, I don't know. People look at prison like it's a... Uh, constantly getting hit up it's not really like that it's like you wake up you hang out with your people you're hustling like what 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 are you good at do you know how to draw do you know how to oh no, no. kevin christie kevin christie we was, was just here that. he knows how to fucking draw yeah he would have yeah. we were talking about what he would have done in prison he said mm -hmm. i would draw pictures of like naked chicks straight up or yeah. yeah or like some people could draw your mom or your dad oh thanks oh, that no sweet. shit yeah well you could tell jokes so <laughs> Yeah, what did they Is have? Is that like your talent? Like, you guys what ready you for do? this? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> One of the fucking guards. Hey, homie. I'm by Ontario Improv. <gasps> goes, hey, dog. You're that fool George Perez, huh? Oh, fuck. I'm like, what are you talking about? He goes, yeah, homie. I used to watch you do comedy at the Ontario <gasps> Improv. One of the guards? One of the guards. Fuck. And since I'm in a... I, I'm, oh, fuck. So... I'm doing halftime, right? So they put me in a program called SAP, Sus Substance Abuse Program. And in this program, I'm with all these fucking lame-ass druggies and shit. Yeah. And it's for halftime. So uh, my counselor sees me, and she's like, you know what? There's a mistake. You have a violent crime. You can't do halftime. Halftime. No. Violent crime is 80%. How, uh, how far into your sentence? Yeah, you know, how much time have you served? I fast forwarded. This is two. This is uh, a year and a half. Like, so you're like, I'm about to. I'm get about out. to get out of here. No, yeah. god damn it. Yeah, that's got to be the most crushing thing to hear. Man, I've had a lot of other crushing shit. But, but. I mean, <laughs> when you're like, I'm about to get out of here, and they're like, yeah. Oh no, just like nah. another. And like nonchalant, like, hey, uh, don't give your stuff away. You're gonna do. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, fuck. That was wild. Wait, but what was your job? I'm gonna, my job was wild. My first job was, uh, I was on the yard crew. Yard crew is, uh, I check out equipment to everybody that's in prison. What kind of equipment? Like uh, basketball, okay, okay. Uh, sandbags to work out. Because we you would put sand in like, uh, you see this pant leg? Yeah. You'd cut it, sew the bottom. Put sand in and then put a hole here. And those are your weights. For curls. Oh, wow. And because uh, you can't have the weights. No oh, hell no. Yeah. They, when the weights were in, people were getting killed like right and right and left. Imagine. <laughs> yeah. Working out and then someone just drops a forty-five on your head. Of course. Fuck. Yeah, of course. That's Fuck. what they did on the American then go Meat. Have, then they just go have. <laughs> they right? go have you seen uh, that? Of course. Oh, uh, you're my hero now. They go have dinner after that, right? They're just like, pap, killed that dude. Do -do -do, yeah. Bap, bap, bap. Hell yeah, it's prize. Like, it's like a fucking yeah. celebration. <laughs> yeah. That's a party I'd go to. So I'm in the substance abuse program, and then the warden calls me. And he goes, hey, man, I got Sacramento coming down here, and I need to show them rehabilitated inmates. And if you... It's weird. I dress better in prison than I did now. And wait, this is the warden telling yeah, you? Yeah, the warden so comes to the program and he goes, I heard you're a comedian. Oh, no. I said, yeah, I am, sir. You know, I'm trying to get the fuck out. For sure. He goes, well, uh, you want to put on a show? And I go, am I a lot of cuss? He goes, mm, no. No no racism, no cussing. All right, cool. It's weird, man. I haven't been in front of a mic probably a year and a half. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, like, like, I'm not worried about being funny, Tom. Yeah. I'm worried about, fuck, am I going to say something that's going to get me stabbed? Of am course. I gonna, right. Fuck. So are you, you're running it through your head the whole time. Yeah, and, it, and this is the fucked up part. It's like, fuck, fool, if you show them how funny you are, now everyone's going to want to fucking yeah. talk to you. They're going to want to fuck with you, too, uh, yeah, like, funny guy. Yeah. Oh, oh that happened no. to me. Yeah, and... uh Fuck it, though. You know how those demons are. I'm going to fucking kill this bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I murdered, dude. Murder!
murdered because they 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 haven't seen that sh- they haven't seen comedy yeah, of course these are gangsters druggies and yeah dude i said this on rogan man it was cool he was just like hey man you can take the rest of that kentucky fried chicken and that two liter dr pepper back to your pad and i, I remember going back to my jail cell with that shit and everybody like what the fuck and i gave it to all i gave it to everybody we ate so do they t- do you tell them why at the time or do you still hold on to that no i told them you told no them. okay you gotta remember i'm i'm in the hotel there's three other there's three other yards to this prison i'm okay. in the drug program right so now that, that we find out i'm not supposed to be in this program they send me to the three side oh god oh, fuck and i'm loving it i'm cool you are okay i mean dude i could i'm loving this shit I don't want to be with drugs. I want to be with gang members. Yeah. <laughs> as weird as that sounds. No, no. I, I actually right. think it makes sense. Because, yeah, you're not a drug addict. Yeah. Like, they're not your crew. Yeah. No, they're like, they're on fucking pills, meds. Oh, that's lame. That's the fucking first. Dude, I remember snorting Seroquel. What? What's yeah. that? Seroquel? It's a... Uh, I've never even heard of that. It's a, uh, I guess, suicide thoughts or like if you hear people <laughs> speaking in your head, you take this drug. Whoa, dude! It's yeah. like for schizophrenics. And shit. Yes, that's crazy. Yeah, and I remember we were sniffing it because we were bored as fuck. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> and, I'd fucking sniff it too. <laughs> yeah, like, for real. So now, oh, how fuck. many people come to the? Sh- are, yeah, are invited to the, the show. whole program was there. The whole yeah. program, like Sacramento, was there. Like the people that like evaluate. Oh, you know this prison. Oh, right. is doing a great job, and they're yeah. like, oh my god. He came in a gangster that was a comedian. You guys brought him back to being a comedian. Hilarious. And I took it. I didn't give a fuck. Of course. You know, you know, I asked, for, I asked for brand new pants. I go, homie, can I get a new pants, a new shirt? Good I want to look you. fresh in here. And they're like, yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah. Dude, I made the warden look fucking bomb. Yeah. Now I'm over here. I'm with real gang members. And some of these fools I know from the streets. And they're like, what's up, fool? I heard you were here. Oh, shit. Even my home, a fool from my gang is in there. Oh, wow. oh, really? Yeah, like I remember going to yard, and that was the first time I heard my name. I heard, "Hey, Georgie," and I turn around, huh? "What the fuck?" Oh shit, what's up, Evans? And the guards are all Mexican. It was cool. All the guards were Mexican, and uh, they were like, "Hey, homie, we know who you are, and uh, would you do a show for us?" For the guards? Yeah, and I'm like, what do you mean, dude? I go, I can't, you know what I mean? And I was just like, and I, you know, cause you have to ask for permission. So I bought the guy with me and he goes, hey dog. <laughs> <laughs> hey dog. Why don't you ask these fools if you can just do all the dorms? That way everybody, all the inmates get to see you do comedy. <laughs> oh, so shit. hey, hey, you know, I'm not, I'm not gonna go up there fucking biting the bullet. I formed a crew. I got me a feature and I got it. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> yeah, like, you're gonna awesome. open the show, man. Yeah, I go, look, dog, check this out. And <laughs> and the fee to get in my show was one item. So fools would put like a cup of noodle, rice, <laughs> beans. That was my hustle, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was my commissary. Yeah, I did nine shows in prison. What? Nine fucking That's no my awesome, yeah, dude. Yeah, it was crazy. How so you trained a couple guys to like kick things off. Basically. One of the, like, like, you know, when you meet someone and you're like, dude, you're fucking yeah, funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just don't know cadence. You don't know yeah. set up tag. You don't know none of that. So I helped them with their shit. Shut up. Yeah, this one fool was fucking, his name was Rico. He was a fucking big old tweaker. He got <laughs> locked up because, uh, you know what? Uh, I guess there's like a base around here, Los Alamitos base. Or okay. Like, and he would he would jump into like the water and steal like <laughs> muscle and sell it like he was a druggie so he would steal koi fishes from mansions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, he was smooth. Well, those things are expensive. Ex- koi fish yeah. are like a thousand dollars. Yeah, you know, you know when you shit. meet a smart druggie, he was yeah. that fool, yeah. but he was fucked. And he had this one joke that killed me. He had fucked up teeth. He was like, "Yeah, I used, to, I used to call girls on the party line, and I would tell them I'm chisel." <laughs> <laughs> it just killed me he did it better but uh yeah man i did uh I did, how would you how would you open like your prison show you know what i mean like when you got up there dude this fool brought me up the smoothest he was like you can see him on showtime shit you can see him on the yard now <laughs> <laughs> yeah no i mean i would just fucking i would come out i mean it was 
Look, Mexican people, don't get disrespected by this, all right? But it's fucking easy to do a Mexican show because there's not that many Mexican comedians. Right. You know what I'm saying by yeah. that? Like, so I would just go up there and just, boom, what's up, I know, I know what to do. And yeah. then I'd give them the, 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 the smart part of that.